hi my lovely family on here how are we all doing i'm sure you're all doing fantastic i know it's been a minute but hey we are here again <laughs> and today i'm going to show you how to make this natural spice blend mix this is a healthier version of spice and we're going to incorporate it in a lot of our oncoming recipes so please stay tuned don't go anywhere learn how to make it as you need it for most of our oncoming recipes okay so in here i've got some rosemary that's a big chunk there <laughs> i've also got some thyme some cumin seed as you can clearly see i normally don't throw my glass containers out some of these containers are tomato puree ones done i keep the containers so yeah that's what i use it for i end up keeping my spices in so yeah i've just showed you some cloves some black peppercorns this is some grain of psyllium i've also got some fennel seeds in here i've got some calabash nutmeg this is african calabash nutmeg you can get it in any african shop okay for extra flavor i've got some dried chopped onions as well as some sage also got some chai so these are all perfect ways of incorporating more flavor to your natural spice blend mix of course i've got some nutmeg which i'm only going to incorporate a little some coriander seeds also some anise seeds known as inkatinkati in our local dialect i've also got some cinnamon here this is just to give it a little bit of aroma so a little will go a long way so as you can see i'm just going to divide it into two and going to use only this piece for the whole recipe you can always take out and add as you want now i'm going to measure the proportion of each spice i'm going to use so i i'm using one cup of anise seeds one and a half cups of rosemary as i love rosemary i love 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 rosemary yes <laughs> i've also got some cumin seed which i'm going to measure almost one cup of it i've also got some cloves i love cloves as well but half a cup is more than enough for this recipe i've also got some coriander seeds which i'm going to measure half a cup for as well as some black peppercorns half a cup of that half a cup of thyme this thyme smells so amazing i normally i'm not a fan of thyme but this one was really nice i've also got some fennel seeds half a cup as well don't worry i'll leave all the quantities or the measurements in the description box below so be sure to check it out okay half a cup of the dried onions as well went in about five strands of the grains of psyllium one calabash nutmeg in the end i wish i had used more calabash nutmeg so you can use five at least okay it's really nice in there i also added a quarter cup of the sage and chives i'm going to i've added three nutmegs here but i'll show you what i did in the end so i'll proceed by roasting all the spices together this amplifies the flavor and the aromas of the spices and it's simply amazing please don't omit this part as you want to get the maximum aroma that we can possibly get and this smelled so 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 good my kitchen smelled amazing <laughs> so i toasted this for only about two minutes and the medium low heat please be sure to constantly stir it or else it will burn and you don't want that okay pour it into a baking tray to completely cool off before we begin blending it i use the baking tray and not a normal tray because i believe because it's hot if you leave it on a normal tray it might get wet and you don't want that so this has completely cooled off and i'm going to continue by blending it all together enjoy <laughs> So as I was blending, I remember that nutmeg is very strong and because this spice blend is all peppers, I decided to use only one nutmeg. So one nutmeg or even half of the nutmeg will go a long way, okay? So yeah, I've been blending this and unfortunately the nutmeg did not blend. <laughs> but trust me, this 
dry ingredient grinder is really good i don't know why it didn't blend so i had to aid it by chopping it into little chunks and transferring it back to the dry ingredient blender to blend it all together and it blended perfectly so this is just an advice if your dry ingredient blender well it might not blend so please cut your nutmeg and the calabash nutmeg into really tiny chunks and blend it all together if you're still here my name is Debsy's delight please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share for everyone to also enjoy and learn something new so blending is done and it's a little bit coarse so what i'm going to do now is to sieve it all off because we want it to be as smooth and silky as possible so sieving is done and this is all the gritty part we got in the end you see you don't want to leave this in there so be sure to sieve it okay but I'm not going to throw the gritty part out. I will show you in my next video what I'm going to use it for. So stay tuned for that. And in the end, our spice blend is smooth and silky. And yeah, that's the gritty bit, which I'm going to incorporate into the next recipe. So stay tuned, okay? <laughs> so once even is done and everything is finished and nicely prepared, <laughs> it smells amazing, guys. What I'm going to do is to store it in an airtight container and just look at that my lovelies you can use it in your stews in seasoning your meat even in your soups if you want and in most of our local dishes just stay tuned and i'll show you the many dishes you can incorporate this in of course i will label it so that everyone knows what is in there thank you so so much for watching this is Debsy's delight and on this channel i bring you loads of different amazing recipes please do subscribe if you haven't done so be kind to share with one or two people and help this channel grow i love you all but god loves you the most bye for now